latest update to our boiler. Since the middle of September we've had no central heating, it's now the 20th of March. Um, they finally come to sort it out. The landlord gave up and got a specialist contractor in. It turned out this radiator here, which is a brand new one, but the one that was there originally had been capped off. Um, the specialist contractor said there was no flow around the central heating system. Um, these weren't working either, but there was only one there. But there's two there now, but they weren't working. That wasn't working. The radiator in the bedroom wasn't working. The radiator in my son's bedroom wasn't working. And the radiator in the bathroom also wasn't working. Um, they came out a couple of weeks ago. They well, they on the sixth of February they ordered six radiators. Turned up on the sixth of March with four radiators, two of which didn't fit. They promised to overnight, which actually took a week, and all the correct radiators and thermostatic radiator valves. But the problem we have now is a rather peculiar one, and I shall show you. Okay, if we put it on heating and hot water economy, okay, and then we go to the radiator valve at the thermostat. And turn it up. You'll notice that the hot water LED has come on and the water rises and rises and rises. It goes up above 80. The water was set when this boiler was installed finally on the 5th of November to be 55 degrees. The water is now currently 78 degrees but it's not actually water because that's the central heating. Now when you put on the hot water like the shower it drops like a stone to set to 55 degrees and you lose all your central heating. There's no central heating at all, only hot water. And the LED there for the central heating never comes on. If you've got hot water on it stays off, if you've got heating on it stays off. The only LED that's now lighting up is that. Whereas before, when we put the heating on, even when it weren't working, it would light up for the central heating and overheat, because apparently that was one of the other things. Somebody who installed this boiler had completely looped out the central heating. So the outlet from the boiler that should have been running to the radiators, actually instead of going around the central heating circuit, went straight back in to the boiler as if it had completed its loop when it hadn't, and that's why the boiler was cutting out so frequently. Um, we've just had two days yesterday and today of a specialist contractor doing this, because the landlord couldn't fix the problem. Um, the landlord came, well the specialist contractor came on Thursday and realised that the landlord had ballsed up by not ordering all the bits. The week before that, on Thursday and Friday, um, the gas supervisor that got demoted to gas engineer and the new gas engineer um, and another person was here. The gas supervisor didn't do much in the way of tools, but it took an ex-gas supervisor who was demoted and a technician two days to fit two small boilers, one in the bathroom and one in my son's bedroom. 
<coughs> we've had no heating at all since the start of September. It's now the 20th of March. I'm sick to the bone. I'm cold to the core. I feel very, very ill. It's been documented by hospitals and social workers. And uh, the landlord just doesn't care. They don't seem to give a damn. Um, you phone them up for a repair, they tend to quote 16 days, even though in their handbook it says 4 hours for disabled. Um, my disease is affected, and I have medical proof by cold. It is absolutely essential I have heating. If I can't have heating, they need to bloody move me, because I need to be warm, because this is going to have a massive effect on my body. Each year I'm going downhill and downhill because that one got capped off the Friday before the 5th of November. That was by an apprentice called Nigel and the man he was working with who was Eastern European possibly called Michael. Um, he turned around and said to him, let's just on the Friday, it was getting close to 6 o'clock, let's just cap the pipes and fuck off. Well, on the Monday, a different gas engineer came in and he obviously didn't know it had been capped. We got told by the contractors that the radiators here would never have worked because of the way they were plumbed in. Um, meant that the water would have been trying to go in reverse, so it sort of creates like an airlock, so nothing would get past it. So they weren't working. The only radiator that we've ever had working in this house effectively in 10 years is this one and that stopped working effectively after about two or three years.